Hello guys, good day. I'm back again for another tutorial. This is HBT tutorial for your basic setup, installation, configuration for some open source applications. Okay guys, so for today's video, we're gonna do continuing our setup regarding the Magnus Billing. Magnus Billing is a kind of a soap which our BOYP Billing uh, open source soap which and billing for our, some BOYP. So, if you want to do reselling, you can use Magnus Billing and you can resell some minutes from your, from your, from some centers or some local business in your area. So, for today, we will, I will teach you on how, on how to configure it. So, we will gonna uh, configure the, adding the trunk or the carrier for Magnus Billing. So, we will use our Telnix account. <coughs> to integrate it on our uh, on our Magnus billing so this is my Magnus billing so as you can see if I'm uh, if I log into my Magnus billing you you do not see any the um, news panel over here because I just I, I already removed it and disabled it so that it's a uh, looks clean in our part so now this is a Magnus billing but I will use also this one once I complete, so we will try to resell some boy from some local person. Okay, so for today, uh, we will teach you on how you can integrate and configure your Telnix to uh, Magnus Billing. Okay, so first you need to configure, you need to get your Magnus Billing IP. So this is my IP. Okay. Okay. And then you need to go to your Telnix account. Okay, so you need to look for the voice and click the zip trunk. Okay, create your zip trunk. You need to name required so I can put here. See widget else. I just put a visual twist. Okay, and then you can use uh if you want what type of uh zip uh authentication you would like to do so for me uh you can choose credentials fqdn uh fqdn or the domain if you have uh mostly use this one if you are using a proxy or some familiar proxy uh, if you have a proxy switch that you owe you your proxy is the domain and then they have a lot of um asterisk server at their backend okay and then IP address. So we will create use IP address. Create. Okay. So then after that, you need to add your IP address over here. Paste and then fork 5060. So as you can see, we have already there. And then you can now uh, for the IP. Yeah, I just uh, there is no tech prefix. Okay, just active. Okay okay so for the dialing zip region
point is Okay, so this is the this is the remote one. Okay, so from here, on our Magnus filling, we need to go to the routes providers. So first, we need to create the provider. How much your setting flies uh, is zero uh, point zero zero my bill put point zero zero eight rupees point zero zero eight initial block mostly they are using twelve six and connection charge zero So you can put six over there okay okay so it means we have now we have now uh we have now a carrier added so from the routes i need to modify something uh, you need to add a prefix over here okay, this is an important thing okay add a prefix okay plus so that all the calls when you dial already add plus on the because uh, Telnix want also a uh, plus E164 so all the outbound calls must have plus one or the country codes will be added okay so I think this is done for now so hope you are enjoying our video adding the Telnix on our uh, Magnus billing so hope uh, just follow our don't forget to like and share and subscribe click the notification bell so that you are updated on our latest video so thank you again guys i will i uh, will update soon our next video for this adding the uh, we will configure the first client and then we will do some tests okay thank you guys and have a nice day bye bye for now Whee.